Alexa, open the blinds. Okay. Hello. I've spent a ridiculous amount of time on the internet learning about automated home systems and blinds. The purpose of this video is to stop you from having to spend the same amount of time and the plan is with this one simple video you'll know exactly where you need to go and what you need to do to set up blinds like this in your house. I looked on various different websites to find the best price and the best deal and the best quality of blinds. In the end I ended up buying from AliExpress, that's the Chinese version of eBay. Um, English is a little bit broken, but hopefully when I show you what I did, that'll give you the confidence to proceed and purchase something quite similar. When you buy the blinds, they come with themselves on a unit. Um, you then need to add the cable to connect it to your relay or switch. Um, you then need the cable to connect it to the plug socket and of course a plug socket itself. I'll show you all of that in a moment. I use my system with the Lightwave RF. I've already got the hub and I've already got Lightwave RF light switches, which made installing a Lightwave RF relay extremely easy. Alexa, close the blinds. Okay. Okay, first of all, let me show you the shopping list and you can um, have a look at what you're gonna need. And then I'll show you the wiring diagram. I'm not an electrician. If you're not sure, not happy, not confident, it's always best just to get an electrician to do this for you. Let's take a look at the shopping list. There we go. So uh, the blind itself, pick up from AliExpress. We've got securing bolts then to attach the blinds to the wall. All of this is available from Screwfix. A three pin plug, three core wire. That's because you're gonna need three core wire to go from the plug to your relay. A double back box, something nice and safe and secure to sit the relay in. Um, blanking plate for your back box. Some trunking to hide the wires up nicely around the wall. I'll show you mine in a moment. A decorator's cult, which is just to get in the edges of the trunking. Lightwave RF relay, and of course, if you haven't already got one, you're going to need a Lightwave RF hub. As far as the wiring diagram is concerned, we've got the plug, which, as you know, will have three cables coming out of it. One of them is an earth, and the earth goes straight up to your blinds. Very straightforward. The next one we've got is a live. The live goes into port four, and you also need to piggyback port four to port two on the Lightwave RF relay. The neutral then comes straight into the neutral. It's labeled with an N, and of course that's piggybacked with the neutral from the blinds. That only leaves us with two ports to worry about. You've got ports one and three, and they're both power lines. So you're gonna use those ports to send power up to the blind if you want it to go one direction or the other direction. Uh, and it's literally that easy. Let me show you the blinds that I purchased. I would post a link, but links become outdated. At least if I show you the advert, you can find your own. Alexa, open the blinds. Okay. So this is the motorized blind system that I bought. Um, there's probably lots of very similar ones, but this is the one I went for and it worked very well for me. The seller was particularly um, well, good speaking English. Uh, he answered all my questions straight away. The thing to be aware of when you're ordering your blinds is to make sure that you measure your width of your window properly. He's going to want to know which side you want the motor to go on. You could have it set to the left or the right side. And of course, he's going to need to know which side you want the fabric to drop down. On this occasion, we chose to have our fabric drop down nearest the glass but of course you can have it nearest inside of the room as well. The blinds themselves, um, I bought four meters worth um, in two motors, two setups. I think I spent about 250 pounds. I'm fully expecting to get a import bill uh, for importing through, which would be another 20%. So the, the blinds would have cost 300. The relays were the next most expensive part at 30 pounds each. So we're up to 360 and then probably another 20 or 30 pounds on the wires, plugs, um, back boxes and of course the trunking so somewhere near 400 pounds for four meters worth of blinds um, let's take the camera now and show you around the setup a bit closer so you can see what you think so we're down at the control center now uh, we've got two plugs plugged into a normal plug socket and they go up to my two back boxes the back boxes left and right 
And then I've got some nicely fitted trunking all the way up around the corner of the window. And from the window, it connects straight to the blind. The blind comes across, and of course there's another piece of trunking up there. Following on for the second blind. There's one thing to be aware of. Ah, there's the lawnmower. There, sorry, there's one more thing to be aware of. Just at the top here is a couple of control switches. Uh, there's one here and there's one just around the back. I uh, don't know if you can see, just around there. Um, you use those when you install the blind and press go, it will go to a default factory setting and then you just twiddle the control switches to put the blinds where you like and they'll never go past that point in the future then. There, there you go. I think the last thing for me to cover you with is going to be the Lightwave RF app. All you do is choose to set up a new device, press and hold the button on the relay to say that you're searching, the two will find each other and then there we go, we have it set up as left and right blind. If I come back a screen, you'll see I've got um, events set up. So one of my events is going to be, uh, I haven't come through onto the iPad, never mind. Uh, one of them is set to stop the blind, so I could say echo stop blinds, and the other one is to say echo blinds 50%. The 50% command isn't a dead certain 50%, it's something I've had to set up to say allow Hang on, we'll just get the blinds working so you can see that again whilst I'm talking. Alexa, close the blinds. Okay. The 50% is something that I've set up so that I can allow the blinds just to go down halfway. All you have to do for that is allow power to the blind for a certain number of seconds and you can play with it and tailor it to meet your own individual windows needs. Lightwave RF I find is a great company. Um, I've started picking up various of their bits. Had a problem the other day and they immediately swapped it out. So I was able to get my lights back up and working again. Um, really, really pleased and I definitely would recommend Lightwave RF. Also, these blinds to anybody who's considering it. Hopefully I've answered all your questions. Hopefully I've answered all your questions, but if there's anything you're not sure about, you can always give us a, give us a message and I'll do my best to help. Um, it all seems pretty straightforward. I think that's about that. Thank you very much for watching. Ah, nearly forgot. You can activate these blinds with the if this then that platform. So uh, you can have your blinds set to, or set up a rule by if this then that, that says if it becomes sunset, then Lightwave RF should close the blinds. And if it becomes um, sunrise, Lightwave RF should open the blinds. Also on the Lightwave RF app, you can set it with timers. So to come up and down in a certain time of day. Um, and you can also create them rules by if this then that. Um, so you've got the switches on the app, the switches via the Amazon Echo. You can also buy a switch which will sit on the side of the wall. Not decided whether I want to do that yet, probably won't bother. Um, or you can have timers and rules set up as well. So it's yeah, a really good piece of kit. Um, all four, well both of these blinds cost me about £400. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions just give me a shake.